A Central Texas horse dealer with several Better Business Bureau complaints is the focus of tonight's 7 on Your Side report. In fact, some customers are now demanding their money back after doing business with her. A lawsuit even accuses her of drugging a bucking horse, all to make a sale. Chris Coffey has spent the past two months investigating the business. He met up with several of the customers. <laughs> Hey, Sundance. We met Angie Browner at a ranch in Rockwall. This is Sundance, her trusty horse. I get you out there, bareback. <laughs> and these are Browner's riding friends. They've been by her side this whole time. Almost one year since she won a lawsuit against a horse dealer in Bastrop County. And I've received no money so far from them. Not a single cent from the $27,000 judgment. It all started when Browner saw an ad for a horse at Raptor 6 Quarter Horses near Red Rock. Titan was his name. He had the markings that I was looking for, plus he was advertised as the perfect horse for a beginning trail rider. So Browner made the long drive to see Titan in person. Well, they asked me to call them um, when I was about an hour away, and my husband and I got there, and they brought Titan out, and he was beautiful. He seemed extremely docile and calm, even more so than I expected. Here at Raptor 6, Browner says she rode Titan for a few minutes. He did fine, she says. But it's after she paid for the horse and had him delivered that she noticed a big problem. According to the lawsuit, Titan had a bad habit. This is video of Titan taken by one of Browner's legal teams. We checked him over. First thing in the morning, he started cribbing in the stall. And cribbing can happen when a horse puts its front teeth on a pipe or fence and sucks in air. It can wear down a horse's teeth. And a horse can spend so much time cribbing that it often forgets to eat. We asked an equine vet who is not involved in the case about this behavior. It's a behavior that we don't like horses to do most significant of all browner says titan turned out to be unrideable more video taken by her lawyer shows titan running wildly around a pen sometimes different environments can cause different behavioral changes but i would be very suspicious if one day a horse was calm gentle docile and the next day without any major changes the horse is bucking around and being aggressive and acting a lot differently. Could Titan have been drugged to keep him from bucking so the business could make a buck? The lawsuit claims it's possible Raptor 6 asked Browner to call when she was an hour away so they could drug Titan and make him look like he was the perfect horse for a beginner. Raptor 6 lost the lawsuit by default because the owner never showed up in court to respond. We tried to reach the owner of Raptor 6, Christina Beaver. Earlier, by phone, she said she'd talk to us on camera. But when she kept pushing back our interview requests, we paid her business a visit. Hi, Christina. It's Chris at Fox 7 on your side. We never saw Beaver that day, but she had earlier told us Browner gave Titan a two-and-a-half-hour test ride. As for cribbing, she says Titan may have done that with a previous owner, but not at Raptor 6, and she denies the horse was drugged. She says she couldn't defend herself in the suit because she was undergoing chemotherapy treatments. But she says she'll eventually pay Browner back. I would like to see her shut down. Browner's not the only angry Raptor 6 customer. There are five Better Business Bureau complaints, one from as far away as South Carolina and others from across Texas, including John Morneau of Seguin. He, too, came across a Raptor 6 ad. He wanted a roping horse, and Morneau says Raptor 6 sold him on one. An experienced roping horse would be perfect for me, perfect for a beginner roper. So he tested out Red. The horse seemed all right in the arena. It, it worked well for me. He swapped out one of his horses, ironically named Red, for this Red, and he paid almost $2,000 extra. But from the second day he had the horse, Morneau was getting discouraged. Chase him around the field for two hours, never got him caught. A horse that you're paying a lot of money for, you don't expect to go out there and chase around. And according to his BBB complaint, Morneau says Red got lazy. He didn't want to work. Beaver told us Red had a proven record. Still, she agreed to take Red back and repay Morneau. This receipt proves it. But Morneau's still waiting for his money. Beaver tells us Morneau will be paid once she sells her Red to someone else. 
Meantime, her website urges customers to take many things into consideration before buying a horse. Christina Beaver says she has lots of happy customers. In fact, she gave us a list of customers to call. The few who called us back say they had no problems with Raptor 6 and said Christina was straight up and honest with them. But try telling that to some of her other customers. I'd like to see her kept legally from having anything to do with buying and selling animals. Browner no longer has Titan. She says he's since been with several different owners. And Morneau's been working with his original trade-in horse. He's optimistic that this red will be a good roping horse in no time. Chris Coffey, 7 on your side. If you check out myfoxaustin.com, we've included information about things to look for when buying a horse.